It's been seven years since Superstorm Sandy hit New Jersey and devastated homes across the coast, but many are still suffering from the damages of the storm. October 29th is no longer just another day for Trisha McAvoy. October 29, 2012, I cannot believe it's seven years since that storm wrecked havoc on the Jersey Shore and ruined and changed my life forever. Trisha remembers the moment her life would change forever. I'll never forget the sound of the gurgling. And I'm like, what was that? And it was the water coming up through my living room floor. And within 20 minutes, there was four feet of water in my living room and the first floor of my house. My son came back to get my husband who was ill and they had to swim back in, bring a kayak into the house to get him out of the house back to um, safety. For many, homes would be rebuilt and lights would come back on. But for Trisha and her family, it's been a seven year project that's still not finished. We woke up to such a disaster the next day and everybody says, oh, you know what, it's horrible, we're going to get the power on. You'll be back home in eight, ten weeks at the most. Well, as I said, it's seven years later, I'm still not home. Trisha was diagnosed with PTSD as a result of Sandy. One day, as workers were repairing her house, Trisha recalled this moment. When they were painting and they took the paper off and everybody was oh, it's a gorgeous day, look at the sun and everything. What did I see? I saw it raining, flooding, and a bench coming towards the sliding doors. I mean, I just, it's, it's, it's too, been too much. Physically and emotionally, I cannot even go in that house. I have such, you know, bad post-traumatic stress disorder. I've had two strokes since Sandy. Very bad chronic bronchitis. My health is taken such an issue. My life has been a wreck for seven years. It's been on hold and I'm still not totally home. And I'm one of the lucky ones. There's close to 1,000 families that still aren't home. A lot of grassroots groups, um, the vi former Visitation Relief Center, New Jersey Organizing Project, and volunteers, missionaries from around the country coming to help me. And that that gave me a lot of hope when I was so hopeless and broken. Mm -hmm. And no, that's, I just would reflect on the people there who would come out to help. As we continue to remember Superstorm Sandy, it's important to keep in mind that although the repairs are finished, a house is not always a home. In Brick, Heather Fordham, New Jersey News Network.